How's it going, everybody? It's the Killer Donut. We're coming back with another episode of Animal Crossing: New Horizons. So, in the last uh, episode or part, we visited the museum and did a little bit of scouting for some of the stuff we needed to do. And today, it's a brand new day, uh, and I basically filled out three homes for three villagers, uh, and then I also completed the shop. So we should be having all that done today. And since we got that done. Uh, let's explore what's happening in the village. Alright, brand new day. Let's see what's up. Tom Nook. Hello everyone, this is Tom Nook. It's 12.55pm this happy Friday, May 1st, 2020. Today is May Day. Be sure to stop by me and see me in the resident services for a May Day tickets. I'm giving them out to express my appreciation for our island residents. I hope you all taken advantage of this opportunity to explore an island far from here. Now for today's other news. Weavile has gained a new neighbor today, Rattle. If you happen to see him, please give him a warm welcome. Alright, it's time for our final announcement of the day. For all of you DIY loving island residents out there, I have a very special announcement. DIY veterans can now take part in a special customization workshop I'm hosting. Learning how to customize will help you change the, up the look of any DIY projects you create. Hmm? I have no doubt it will broaden your creative expertise. I'll conduct this DIY workshop inside resident services. Curious crafters should stop by. That's all from me. Time for you all to get out and enjoy your day. Yes, yes. Oh, this is going to be fun. So we got a couple things to do today. And he's outside my house. <laughs> Hello, Herb. Sorry to bother you out of the blue, hmm? I, can, I came to thank you for your help with the recent prep work. Thanks to you, the plots are ready and we can start welcoming the folks who want to move here. I've stopped by to deliver a token of my appreciation as promised. It's some fencing. You can surround your home to create a yard or surround some flowers to make a garden. Fencing should make it easier for you to create yards or parks or other outdoor areas. I'm positive this will lead to some interesting new landscaping scenes here on Weavile. I'm thinking 50 pieces of simple wooden fencing should give you an excellent start. In the future, I'll offer DIY recipes you can get by redeeming Nook Miles. The selection will change daily and will offer a variety of designs. Check the Nook stop sometime, hmm? Well, that's all I need to say, so if you'll excuse... Oh, that's right. I mentioned it in today's broadcast, but I'm starting a new customization workshop for island residents. Mastering customization will make DIY more interesting. Yes, yes. You must participate sometime. Well, I couldn't have done this without you, Herm. That's for certain. Cool. Alright, so we got some... Alright, we got some stuff here. Let's check out the mail, as always. Uh, ooh, Gulliver gave me a present. I did help out some guy <laughs> randomly in the ocean. His name was Gulliver. I wanted to thank you for saving my life, but I never got your number. I hope regular mail is okay. Did you know people still did... <laughs> Do these wild anyways please enjoy this weird souvenir for me thanks all right he gave me something and please accept our sincere thanks for continued patronage next shopping we'd like to inform you that we have some wonderful no seasonal offerings in stock please take a look when you can okay I wonder what he gave me okay so we got simple wooden fencing which is dope open place item wow oh. What is this? Pagoda? Oh! Ah, that's so cool! <laughs> oh, what? Okay, I like that. I like that. Um, let me... Let me show you guys around real quick. Since we're already here at the house. I... Have changed the home around just a little bit. And I think it looks really nice. So let's see here. Yeah, I moved the bed out. Basically sleep on the sofa now. We got some chairs. Uh, lighten up the room but let's put this away and let's see what we can do here I think that should be good let's go check out the rest of the island here there's a couple things that are I know uh, let's go see if we can find our new neighbor I was building a bridge oh and it's finished okay yeah so I s made this house finished all the furnishing so we're gonna be getting new neighbors soon for that um, Oh, the new neighbor moved in. Nice, nice, nice. Check this place out. 
Ah, uh, it's all boxes right now. Hello there. Or Rattle. I'm Rattle. It makes me happy that you came to visit so soon after I moved in. Man, we gotta hang out sometime. I've got so many snacks to share with you, Herm. Aw, alright, Rattle. Your little, little quarantine outfit. <laughs> Is he a doctor? Is Rattle a doctor? I don't know. He's got a cool home. I dig it. Um, we got some stuff to dig up, as always. Let's do this. So, something I want to do is probably pay off my my loan I need to do to uh, Tom Nook. Oh, and then I learned that you can bury these to grow grow trees. You can grow money trees. Probably gonna grow the money tree on this corner. Burying hole. What? Did that not work? Am I dumb? Oh, I think it might be only in the same hole that I dig it out of. Oh well. Next time. Next time. Alright, let's go check out the inside of the store here. See what they have. I don't know if you guys can hear it. There's a train in the back. It's super loud. Hello, hello. Welcome to Nook's Cranny. We got a little box, a boom box. They got a microphone. We got a little plant. I'm digging the microphone. 1,800 bells? I'll buy it. I'll buy it. That's an easy purchase. Got an umbrella, brown wrapping paper. Yo, blue diner wall. I'm buy this. This looks super dope. And on some birch. All right, all right. Okay, I dig it. I dig it. That's really nice. Alright, thank you, thank you. Alright, and now I'm gonna go and grab everything that I can on the island. I'll meet you guys in a little bit. Alright, hello guys, how's it going? So we're back. Um, I went ahead and collected four of the fossils I found on the island and three new uh, insects. So first we're going to go take the fossils in to get assessed, and then we'll just be doing the insects after. Now for the insects, I caught a ladybug, um, some kind of like violin beetle, I think it was called, and then um, a diving beetle that was in the water. So let's see, assess my fossils. There's four of them. I think it's only four per day, um, unless I go to like the other specific islands. So... We'll see what happens with that, but either way, so far, so good. <clears throat> Let's see. Cool. Okay, give me my fossils back. Make a donation. Okay, so I already own one of these, I guess. I've already given it to him before. Um... So I'll just turn these in. Yeah, fine. Okay, let's go grab the bugs and then come back in. And I'll probably do another um, look at the museum later on uh, once I've put even more uh, stuff in it. I was able to finish one of the fossils. It was the mammoth fossil. Finish that. Um, I think, yeah, last night, I believe. So, you guys can see that at a later day, or in a later video. Okay. Oh, okay. He's here. Uh, this is brand new text. I wasn't even, I was just skipping right through it. Uh, thus, I'm considering adding fine works of art to this fine institution's repertoire. So, if you should find yourself in position of a piece of art, by all means, please show it to me. Okay, I guess he takes art now. Um, which is... 
cool. I guess we're gonna have an art section. Yeah, diving beetle, violin beetle, and the ladybug. They're all bugs, so he normally doesn't like bugs. And I'm fine. Awesome. Alright. So that's our daily, like, fossil hunting and bug hunting um, out of the way. Now, the next thing I want to do is... Oh, who are you? I have not spoken to you before. Hello. Harvey. Hey, yeah. Hey, you live on this island? Thought so. I'm from, like, the next island over. My name is Harvey. Glad to meet you, friend. You can call me Harvey if you want. Why do I know no one does that? It's a very part just... <laughs> Sorry. You got a bit sidetracked there. I came here for a reason. Give me a minute and I'll remember why. I got it. I keep hearing about this island, how much folks dig this in here. So I thought I'd check it out. I'm going to start this far out artist collective and I'm looking for ideas. So what's the deal? I heard that this place was deserted, like literally a deserted island. You the honcho that put this place at the head of the class? Oh wait, this all new just had a castor of an idea. You should visit my island. Just hit the airport and tell him you want to go to Harv's Island. That name of my pad? Groovy, right? Anyway, nice drawing with you. I'm gonna stroll around and see what makes Weavile tick. Oh yeah, so I, I looked it up and it is pronounced Isle. So I was saying it right the first couple times. Thank God. Alright guys, so we're just here in front of the uh, shop. Or Nook's... Is it my area? I don't know. I don't even know what the name of this is yet, yeah, but it's where good old Nooky Nook is. Is there anything in the chest? Oh, dude. Got a rusted part. Take it, I guess. A tree branch and some clay. And we can Tom Nook. Oh, I'll wager you're here to grab a May Day ticket, Herm. I hand them out as part of our May Day celebration. Speaking of which, it's time for a little pop quiz. Do you know what we're celebrating on May Day? Uh, not really. Oh, well, then let me to line you, hmm? May Day is a day when we express our gratitude to those who work hard. Although I'm supposed, although I suppose May, my May Day event is more about play than work. My getaway package idea started as a way for folks to escape and enjoy carefree lives on desert islands. I'm sure you've been enjoying a leisurely island life here as well. However, I can't help but think about all the support I've gotten from our wonderful island residents. It can truly be said that a lot of hard work has gone into making this island great. As a thank you, Nook Incorporated has created a special tour for island residents. Yes, yes, I call it the May Day Tour. I'm sure everyone will enjoy the recreational activities I've planned. So I'll take this opportunity to hop on a plane, take a trip, and unwind after all your hard work. I've left a May Day ticket for you at the airport counter. May 7th is the last day you can use it, so take flight whenever you like before the event ends. I think that's everything I wanted to tell you. Did you need more to repeat any of that? Nah, I'm good, dude. I'd love to hear your thoughts after you've gone on your trip. Until then, have a good time on your May Day tour, Herm. Dope. Alright. Let's see. Um, oh yeah, I can hold a ceremony for opening the store. But, eh, it's not anything crazy. Uh, let's talk about that workshop. Ready to dip your toes into delightful waters of customization, Herm? I'd love to. Yes, yes, that's the spirit. Let's get started. Wonder. I believe a brief explanation about customization is in order. Honestly, it's incredibly simple. First, you'll need the item you want to customize, along with the required number of customization kits. Then you'll customize your item at a workbench. The design or color will change in the blink of an eye. I do believe you'll find this easier to understand once you try it yourself. Let's get started. Your goal for this session is to make a wooden wardrobe and then do some customizing. The wardrobe you'll make as well as the closets, chests, and other items such as store clothing are quite useful. You can use them to easily change into any clothes you have stored in your home storage. You could use your custom colored wooden wardrobe to put on your own fashion show. That freedom of expression is just the sort of thing we enjoy here on Weavile. Oops, you're going to need the DIY recipe for it. First, let me send that over right now. They're all set. So come see me after you get a wooden wardrobe, hmm? Alright. Let's craft, let's craft that wooden wardrobe. Oh yep, yeah, easily craftable. Oh, we have just enough! Oh my gosh. That's perfect. I made a wooden wardrobe. All done for now. 
What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. Uh, about that workshop. Oh, Herm, you got your wooden wardrobe. I think that means it's time for you to customize it. I'll give you the customization kits you'll need in a moment. For now, please step up to the workbench. It looks like you're ready now with your wooden wardrobe. I think that means it's time for you to customize it. First, Herm, I'll give you some customization kits. Next, pull out your wooden wardrobe and try customizing it. Oh, cool. Let me just paint it any color. Black. Yeah. I customized a wooden wardrobe. Yes, yes, masterfully done. As we've just seen, customizing items is quite easy when you have a customization kit and a workbench. You can take the extras from today as my gift to you, use them in your future customization projects. Hmm? As you graduate of my workshop, you'll now be able to buy any kits you need from the shop. Now for the most part, the most part, Oh, uh, you can customize furniture or other items you made of DIY. I'm dumb, again. However, some of the mass market furniture items sold in the shop can also withstand some customization. For example, you might be able to change an item's fabric or add a custom design to it. Figuring out what you can customize and how you can customize it can be a lot of fun. And this concludes my workshop on customization. I hope you enjoy putting on a fashion show in your home using your custom wooden wardrobe. Now take a break, hmm? I do believe you've earned it. Alright guys, I'm back with enough Nook Miles to buy what we wanted, so let's see what it is. Redeem Nook Miles. Alright, so it's the Pocket Organization Guide. 5,000 miles to redeem it. Nigerian Pocket Organization Guide. Your order has been printed. Huh, okay. I see, this totally makes sense. I learned some tricks for organizing my belongings. I bet I can carry a bit more stuff now. So, yes, okay. This was uh, an upgrade to our storage and we can carry a lot more stuff now. Let me see what to do next. I guess we can go check out the airport for that Mayday ticket. So I learned that the airports actually come in different colors. Uh, and I think it's like red, blue green and like a yellow one and we got lucky got a blue one which is a really dope color uh, oh hey hey welcome to your one and only getaway to the skies we wild airport oh it's you good timing i got a mayday ticket from tom nook with herman on it which makes it yours when you want us to use this ticket you just gotta say the magic words i want to fly i got it so herm you got anything to tell me yeah i want to fly Roger. By the way, I got a Mayday ticket with your name on it behind the desk here, so take advantage of it. So, just get all the paperwork all official, and where'd you want to go? Let's use that Mayday ticket. Alright, you ready to go on the tour with your Mayday ticket? Roger that. This Mayday tour is a special trip to a faraway island. It's all organized by Tom Nook. As for what awaits you there, you'll just have to find out when you land. For this tour, you'll have to go empty-handed. We'll hold on to all your belongings here at the counter. Don't worry, we'll be sure to return them when you get back. So, want to stow your luggage and head out on the Mayday tour? Yeah, sure. All right, let's get you airborne. I'm assuming it's just an island tour, so uh, we'll see what happens with that. And we have touchdown. You are at the your Mayday tour destination. Now this is tours different than most. The whole island's a giant maze. Nothing in area view wouldn't help, but that's not what we're here. This is a navigation tour. You copy. The point is to find your way through. We've stored your gear back at the airport counter, so you'll start with this mission, empty wings or hands. We big shot bird types rely on our inner radar to get us around. It's a pretty nifty trick. But you groundbound goslings will have to zero in on whatever you can find in the maze to reach your target. If you get stuck or grounded, or lost in a fog bank or whatever, just hail the rescue services on your phone. Our whiskered allies will reset things you can, so you can refuel, regroup, and restart the maze. And if you ever feel like you need a little extra intel, I might have a hint or two for you. So. Time to get going. Right about November Oscar Whisker. Good luck. Oh, it's a maze. Okay, okay. Uh, we have a shovel now. I don't... This isn't good. Okay, so... We'll shovel this out. Jump over that. 
Oh, but you got tickets. Okay. I wonder if there's this hole here. Plant. Oh, it won't let me. Okay. Whatever. Alright, so we're gonna eat the apple, which is gonna let us. We're in this together, boys and girls. Alright. So you can just jump over these. Okay. Can I jump over them in a certain angle? No. It wouldn't make sense to let me do that, would it? Dang it. Alright, this works. Okay. Okay, okay. We got the axe now. The worn axe. So I think... If we do this right... I don't know if the axe can break the, the rocks. But it might be able to. Nope, okay. <laughs> I hate mazes. <laughs> Let's see, okay, so there's. <sighs> I'm out of apples. The DIY kit's right there. I need to figure out how to get more apples. Do I cut down the tree? <gasps> oh no! The axe broke. Dude, give me a hint. A hint, huh? Roger guidance incoming. Acquiring knowledge. Okay, so there's a tree in your way. You got two options. Eat some fruit, then dig the whole thing up with a shovel. Chop it down with a decent axe, and excavate the stump with a shovel over and out. Okay, well... But the main issue is... Which means we broke our axe, and now it's just gone. I don't like this. Rescue services. Call. Paid a freaking hundred miles. So we're we're doing this again. We're we're trying once more. Alright, shovel. Picking out that. Here I have an apple. If I eat the apple. Gives me enough energy to pluck out the tree. Then I have to move forward. Forward again. To the right. Grab some logs. Some wood. Three wood. Forward to the left. Get a stick. Go across. Tree branch. Tree branch. And what's the wooden, the worn axe? Okay. 
tree branch, a rock. Oh, this worn axe better work. One, two, three. That's two apples, which lets me dig out two trees. I'm pretty sure it might let me dig up an entire rock. Let's try. E1. It does. Bunch of DIYs. Eat one. Okay. In case you didn't know the DIYs, they gave you two DIYs. So now we have access to the to the crafting table. Let's make this thing. I need an iron nugget. Okay, let's make the flimsy axe. Let's do it. All done for now. All right, we need to, we need to place this smart. So the next thing we need is going to be iron ore which I had seen in like one of these things we're gonna go this way we're gonna dude this sucks eat the apple please work Perfect. Bam, dude. Okay, all done. And then with the better axe, we can freaking go this way. Let's cut down this tree. Which I'm assuming this is the one we were supposed to cut down the first time, but I just I don't really care. Got two apples. One, two, three. Oh, what am I doing? I can just quick switch. No, it doesn't. Oh no. <laughs> I just went a lot better. Oh my god. So much better. Three whole trees in the way. <laughs> oh, and we're done. Alright guys, I'm back. And I just completed the puzzle again. Uh, this time it was a lot easier. So, luckily... We need to get it done this time. We need some apples here and pick up the rest of our tickets. And we're gonna call this the Mayday Maze. That's gonna be GG. Let's see here. Gotta break these rocks. Oh no. Don't count for my apple, please. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of tickets here. I like that, I like that. Hopefully we get a lot of bells. This was a fun maze, it was super interesting. Uh, the second time around I really got the hang of it, so uh, thankfully it just went by really quick. And let's talk to this person here. Rover, you made it to the goal, huh? Hey, have we met before? You seem kind of familiar, but 
Oh, sorry. I've been traveling to a lot of different islands lately. I'm pretty bad with names and faces. This is my first time on this island. Uh, it's a pretty weird island, isn't it? What brings you here anyway? Tom Nook sent me. Oh, wait, you know Tom Nook? He's the reason I'm here too. I mean, I'm here because he invited me. He told me he put together a very interesting attraction on this island. I should check it out. Well, I didn't expect to find a maze. Hamiha. <laughs> what a surprise. So if you know Tom Nook, does that mean you live on the same island as he does? It sure does. Neat. I hear Nook's been putting a ton of work into that place. What was it called again? Oh yeah, we buy all right. Ding ding ding. <laughs> I knew it. You're a pretty interesting guy, you know? If all if all you island folks are this much fun, I bet Weep Island's great. You got a name by the way? Uh-huh. Herma, great name, great name. I'm glad we met Herm. I want to commemorate this occasion by giving you a gift. Oh it's so great to meet you. I mean what are the odds? I really didn't expect to have this much fun here. One thing's for sure. I'm hoping fate fate will bring us together again sometimes. See you later. Yeah, keep talking to him. It's nice to take a plane every once in a while. I'm used to traveling by train, riding the rails, as they say. Oh, cool. Alright, wait. Alright, dope. So, we got an upgraded, uh, like, inventory. We were able to do a really cool maze. Let's see if there's anything left to do today. We might just call it a day for that one. I'm waiting on two new villagers to be coming in soon. So, we'll see what happens with that. Hold on just a sec, okay? Thank you for choosing Dodo Airlines. Da da da. I'll use my bell vouchers. That's the thing we got from Rover. Okay. Let's see, Tom. Oh, I heard you took your May Day tour, Herm. We speared off. We spared no effort putting the event together. So tell me, how did it go? It was super fun. I'm so glad to hear that, believe me. When you're happy, I'm happy. I also heard that you managed to make your way through the maze. Maybe it was too easy for an adventure of your skill, hmm? Huh? Well, I'm just happy you had a good time. Allow me to once again express my gratitude for everything you and your other residents do. Because of you, we Weebile is a vibrant island community. And you can be sure that Nook Incorporated will continue doing whatever we can to support you. After all, we're in this together, partner, hmm? Huh? Alright guys, that's going to be the video here. Uh, I had a great time with the maze. We checked out some new stuff here on the island, such as the shop, the bridge, and some of the new, uh, one of the new residents that came in. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video.